Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you some clusters. I didn't make clusters for a very long time and I uh, start to fussy cut out images from my uh, collection of old book pages from Czech Botanical Atlas book and I, I, I love them so much so I decided to do some botanical or herbal clusters today and I hope you will join me and enjoy it. I've got here my off cut from those pages. I've got here also some cut out frames and uh, these frames are uh, cut out using by uh, Alexandra Renke, Alexandra Renke dies. I will put a few links down below so you can have a look. She does have amazing dies, stamps, uh, decorative papers, a really huge amount of craft supplies. So let's start it and we, I'm gonna use also sample stamps and Tim Holtz stamps because <laughs> I love them and we can create some beautiful clusters. So as a background for my clusters, I'm going to use this tracing paper and first I would like to do some stamping. I've got here a few uh, like mixed media stamps or background stamps. These are from Studio Light. Uh, these are from Basic uh, Collection. And I've got here these two. I will put uh, names of these down below. I've got here these uh, beautiful stamps from Sampool. These are dates from the past and they do have amazing uh, dates and, you know, names. I do have here also this collection from stamp Sampool and this is called Nature Finds. Also beautiful stamps. And I do have here background stamps from uh, Viva, Viva Decor. And uh, these are this wooden and the brick stamps and of course Tim Holtz uh, field note stamps. So that's what I would like to somehow mix. I'm not sure if I will use them all, but uh, you know, I kind of separate them from my rest stamping <laughs> collection. And I think I'm going to use some of these because I like them so much. Oh no. I think maybe I will use this one. I never used that. Uh, I haven't used that yet. And because it will be in nature style, I'm going to use brown and green stamps. I've got here Adirondack uh, ink pad espresso. So probably that. Hmm. I think this I will like to see in green color. So I've got here just a uh, simple green ink pad. And I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to make kind of few, yes, just soft stamping here and there. Perfect. I'm doing that stamping kind of everywhere, but, you know, with that soft feeling. So that will be for this. So I pull out a few frames. I die cut it to kind of spread them and see how it will look like. And I think I will use those five frames and create my clusters so before i will glue them on my tracing paper i will maybe use my washi tapes so i choose these for washi tapes and i do have here also tim holtz collection of washi tapes with warts which hopefully i will somehow add them there as well uh, links for these washi tapes will be also in the description box and i think i'm gonna start from this large one and I will place it somewhere here. Yeah, maybe like this. Here I do have this frame. So maybe there I can use some of this soft nature. Why not? I'm gonna put the mushroom here. Yeah, I think it can be there. I will put somewhere here. Okay, and a little bit more of the warts. Mm -hmm. Here. 
yeah probably this way now I'm gonna choose some stamping so I do have here a stamp from some pool and I like these stamps very much they are soft and they don't do kind of like heavy heavy stamping they do just that um, you know that soft stamping which is perfect for a project like this so I'm gonna use a few of these if they will don't fall, <laughs> fall down all the time I will try to not lose them so very soft stamping and maybe something from I'm gonna take them off maybe something from these stamps field notes so field notes I'm gonna place over it so I do have my soft stamping. I'm not gonna put there anything more yet. I'm gonna glue my frames where I wanted to have them. And I did use a Serali box because those Serali boxes are nice and strong to fussy cut out uh, these frames. So I'm gonna put my frames on the spots I wanted them. I do have my frames glued now I'm gonna kind of rip off that uh, tracing paper around it will leave beautiful edge that vintage looking edge it will be like another decoration around so I'm gonna rip off the tracing paper around and I left here and here a little bit longer part of that tracing paper so I'm gonna use that uh, and I'm gonna use this uh, Tim Holtz uh, that teeny number stamp and I will add there some stamping this time I'm gonna use a uh, black ink that stamp and add the soft stamping here on the bottom and here as well so for my fussy cutting I choose those uh, five uh, flowers or plants and because accidentally I did print out on ivory cardstock I forgot to change my cardstock and I did print out these images on ivory cardstock in that collection this is on my Etsy now uh, there is always one sheet uh, with this one image I just print print them smaller so I printed two images on one sheet and as I said I accidentally used ivory cardstock so my images looks a little bit yellowish i'm gonna tone it down using walnut stain distress ink and i will just distress the edges of my flowers using a brush because it's soft and it's gentle and then hopefully it will don't rip off my fussy cut fussy cutting <laughs> at least i hope so with this i will a little bit tone tone down that yellow feeling from that ivory cardstock and I maybe will use this distress ink a little bit of those frames as well I will see how it will looks like and put there a flower oh yeah so I'm gonna put the glue on my frame And place that the flower. Like this. And I will do the same with those others. Distress the images and then place them on my frames. And here I'm missing some stamping, so I think I'm gonna use this circle stamp from Tim Holtz so I do have my basics and because I did use that ivory cardstock I need to put there a little bit more of that ivory cardstock to kind of you know continue that color so for that I'm gonna use one of these beautiful uh, washi tapes from Tim Holtz with words it's perfect for creating uh, you know your labels and for adding words to your layouts I just love those they are really perfect so I'm gonna took a few of these glued them on my off cut from ivory ivory cardstock and I will add it to my clusters 
And these are my clusters for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. I just want to say uh, all these products I'm sharing in my videos, they are products which I am buying for my own money. I'm not supported or uh, paid for some <laughs> promotion from anyone. So I'm always trying to share the products I really like and products I, I buy for myself. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found something interesting here. Uh, these are my clusters for today. Uh, links will be down below. Oh yeah, I'm supported by this because that's my own design. <laughs> so if you will buy that, you will help me to support myself. Me, I mean. <laughs> Thank you so much for jumping in today. Thank you so, so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.